let's talk about the regression. Uh, in the previous lesson, we looked at the coffee shop uh, to understand the relationship between the, num the number of cups sold and coffee sales. Uh, this is the this is a special case in which the relationship between variables is uh, perfectly linear. So on the graph, notice that all of the points fall directly on the regression line, and that the correlation coefficient uh, between the variable is one. In the real, uh, in the real world, our data typically contain some variation, and so perfectly linear relationships rarely occur. So, can we still make estimates and predictions based, uh, based on uh, data that are almost uh, but not quite linear? Yes, we can use regression to find the line that best uh, fits our data. Regression uh, uh, estimates the intercept and slope of a line based on our data. We can use the regression equation to describe and make prediction. To illustrate, recall uh, the sales price and mileage data uh, gathered gather by ABC. Here, the relationship between the variables is not perfect, uh, perfectly linear. The points on the scatter plot do not do not fall exactly on the line. It's here, but we can definitely see that the variables are related as mileage uh, increases. As my list increases, the sales price decreases. So let's use regression to describe the relationship between the variables. Here, the population of interest is all spot cars that come off of three year leases. It is too expensive to collect data on all of those car across uh, all dealerships in the country. So we take a random sample. Remember that mileage is an explanatory variable and sales uh, and sale is a sales price is the response variable. So we want to know how car mileage influences sales price. So if we use regression, so here is the line for this data. So what the slope of the equation? So the slope is uh, zero point minus zero point four two two seven. So which means when the car is driven one mile, the sales price decrease by. Um, 0 0.4227 dollars this translates to a decrease of 4227 dollars for every 10000 miles driven so what is the intercept of the of this equation the we see the intercept is the intercept is 35,751. This means that when the mileage is zero, the regression equation predicts that the sales price will equal uh, uh, $35,751. The mileage of a lease car is unlikely to be over zero. So the intercept does not have much practical use in this case. So how is the regression uh, equation useful? 
at IBC we can use the uh, equation to predict how mileage a fast sales price for instance how much would we expect to make on a car with uh, 25,000 miles so to make this prediction we plug 25,000 into the equation into the equation using the equation a car with 25,000 miles will sell for about 25 uh, $25,183 dollars We can find the same results by looking at the regression line draw through the scatter plot. So find the point on the regression line corresponding uh, to, to 25,000. On the horizontal axis, axis uh, and the draw a straight line, straight line over two vertical axis. So that point, that point, uh, that point correspond to uh, 25,000, 25,183 dollars. So using regression, we predict that when the mileage of a car equals 25,000, it will sell for 25,183 dollars. So if a car has uh, has forty thousand has forty twelve thousand uh, miles on it, so what is the predicted price? So we can see the predicted price is around uh, eighteen thousand eight hundred dollars. <coughs> so how exactly did we arrive our regression line? How do we know? How do we know if this line, instead, or this line, or this line? So how do we find the line that best fits the data? Regression uses a method called uh, least squares. In fact, uh, in fact, sometimes regression is referred to as the least squares regression this method chooses the line that minimizes uh, the sum of the square vertical uh, distances from the point points to the line the distances between the points and regression line are called uh, uh, residuals the repre uh, represent uh, they represent the portion, uh, the portion of the uh, response, response that is not explained by the regression equation. So let's evaluate the data for the ABC call. Look at fourth, uh, fourth row. The mileage is 40, uh, 40,943 and the sales price equals seventeen thousand eight dollars so here is it on the plot this data point is called uh, the observed value because it is a response value obtained from the sample so what if we plug the same value for mileage forty thousand uh, nine hundred 40,943 into the regression, regression line. So the, the value on the equation returns is called the fitted value. So what fitted value should we expect? We can, we can see that this, uh, for that for this observation, the regression equation predicted a sales price of um, eighteen thousand four hundred and four dollars, but the observed value from the sample was uh, seventeen thousand eight dollars. Uh, so the difference between the observed and uh, fitted values is residual. 
uh, the residuals is uh, 18, uh, 17,008 uh, dollars minus 18,400 uh, 18, for so which is minus uh, 1,400 uh, 1400 minus 1436 dollars 36 dollars this means the that the, the actual sales price uh, the actual actual sale prices was uh, 1436 less than sales price predicted by the equation With an uh, with any regression analysis, some points are closer to the line and some points are far farther from it. The closer the point, uh, the closer the points are to the line, the better the regression line fits the data. Residuals enables to check the equ the equ uh, uh, check the, uh, the equ uh, equation to see if the line is good fit to the data. So let's review. Remember the slope in the regression equation indicates the, ef the effect of the, uh, the explanatory variable on the response va variable. Uh, the method for finding the regression line is called the least squares, and the residual is the difference between the observed and fitted values. Thank you for your listening. In the next lesson, we'll talk about the hypothesis test and R-square.